Hey there, view. Welcome to another video. As you have seen, um, I'm already done with the admin beginner trail mix, so let's get on to the admin intermediate trail mix. You can find it through trailhead.csforce.com. You go to admin intermediate and, and then you scroll down a little and you can see the trail mix there. It's for 11,100 points which will add quite a bit to my profile and let's get started with the first module formulas and validation tailor your apps without writing code by using point and click logic use formula fields Learning objectives. After completing this unit, you will be able to create a custom formula field and use the formula editor. Explain why formula fields are useful. Outline at least one use case for formula fields. Create simple formulas. Introduction to formula fields. You've got a lot of data in your organization. Your users need to access and understand this data at a glance without doing a bunch of calculations in the head. And the formula field, the powerful tool that gives you control how your data is displayed. Let's say you wanted to take two numeric fields on the record and divide them to create a percentage. Or maybe you want to turn a field into a clickable hyperlink to easy access to important information from a record's page layout. Maybe you want to take two dates and calculate the number of days between them. All these things and more are possible using formula fields. Let's look at a specific example. What if you wanted to calculate how many days are left until an opportunity's close date? You can create a, similar a simple formula field that automatically calculates that value. By adding the value to the opportunity page layout, your users can quickly access this key information. You can also add these fields to reports and list views for instant access. There we see days to close. This is a formula in a report. And this is the same formula in a list view, and here it's in a page layout. When you're learning, when you're first learning formulas, it's best to start with simple calculations and build up to more complex scenarios. But as you'll see, even simple formulas provide valuable information. In this unit, we will take you through the basics of using the formula editor and introduce you to formula syntax through several basic examples. You'll also touch on troubleshooting problems with your formula fields. Now let's have some fun finding the formula editor. Before we dive into writing formulas, let's locate the formula editor and get to know its features. So let's find the playground here, somewhere at the bottom and go back up there. From setup open the object manager and click opportunity. In the left sidebar click fields and relationships. So let's do that and also I'm gonna make this a split screen. So well, let's go to setup and find the object manager there. Click opportunity and then we go to fields and relationships. And we click new. And there we select formula. A read only field that derives its value from a formula expression you define. The formula field is updated when any source of when any of the source field changes. It's kind of like in, in Excel, you probably know the formulas there. We take data from several fields or even rows and you add that, subtract that, whatever like you perform calculations with them. 
Okay. Field label, my formula field. And the type of data you expect your formula to return. For example, you want to write formula that calculates the commission a salesperson receives on a sale and you select currency. For now, pick text. What does text do? Create a text string, for example, by concatenating other text fields. Difficult word, never seen it before. But apparently you join like several fields, so for example first name and last name into one name field, I guess. You click next, you've arrived at the formula editor. Time for our tour using the formula editor. This image highlights the most important parts of the formula editor. New custom fields, simple formula, advanced formula, inlet fields, inlet operator, and so on. The formula editor comes in two flavors, simple and advanced. It's tempting to use the simple editor, but we always recommend using the advanced editor. Advanced doesn't mean more complicated, it means more tools for you to create powerful formulas. The insert field button opens a menu that allows you to select fields to use in your formula. Inserting from this menu automatically generates the correct syntax for accessing fields. So it's there. Go to advanced formula because they recommend that. Insert field would be here. The insert operator button opens a drop down list of the available mathematical and logical operators. So we don't even like need to manually um, write these, we don't even need to recall, so it's much easier than regular programming where you need to recall everything. So they make it quite easy. The functions menu is when you view and insert formula functions. Functions are more complicated operations that are pre-implemented by Salesforce. Some functions can be used as is, for example the today function returns the current date, while the others require extra pieces of information called parameters. The len text function, for instance, finds the length of the text you import as a parameter. The formula len hello returns a value of 5. Let's see where that is. It's there, it's not really visible because this one now is so small. Here we have all those functions which are less explained than the operators. But I guess they have a glossary somewhere. Now number 5, the text area which we see here is where you enter your formula. When writing formulas keep in mind that white space doesn't matter. You can insert as many spaces and line breaks as you want without affecting the formula's exception execution. Formulas are case sensitive. Pay attention to capitalizations of fields and object names. When working with numbers, the standard order of operations apply. Once you have written a formula, you can use the check syntax button to ensure that everything is in working order before saving. If your formula has issues, the syntax checker alerts you to specific problems. When we don't need to continue creating this formula field, so click cancel. Now that you know your way around, let's put the editor to use with some simple examples. The formula editor in action. Example. Displaying an account field on the contact detail page. Record detail pages contain a lot of information, but sometimes that's not enough. Sometimes you need more. For your first formula, let's do something simple. Let's take a single field from an account and show it on the contact using what's called a cross object formula. Let's take a look. First, create a contact. If you've never created a contact before, go to the contacts tab and click new. Enter any value for last name and make sure that, you've, that you fill in a value for the account name. 
field by clicking the lookup icon. Next we'll create a formula to display the account number on the contact page. From setup, open the object manager and click contact. Okay, let's do that. If you have never created a contact, you would indeed need to create a contact. You can use that free sales view and go to contacts. And as you see, we have one contact here called home buyer. So I guess that's sufficient. If we need more, I guess they will let us know. But if you have never created one, just do it through the sales view, uh, which you can access here, like on these points here and go on sales. But if you have gone through previous videos, you probably have a contact in there. So let's continue in the object manager, go to contact. And we go to fields and relationships. There we click on new to create a new field or relationship. And for the field type, we select formula. Call your field account number and select text for the formula return type. next which i just did click insert field on the advanced formula editor contact account account number i'm not sure what i did wrong there let's do this again Okay, I didn't see the invert. So there we got it. So this is like a most simple way of programming. We don't need to recall like any syntax or anything like that. We just use the invert field and then the invert operator. So that's basically the easiest way of programming and now we have the um, field there. Congratulations, you have written your first formula. Now let's see this formula in action. The next page lets you set field level security. Now click next so we can add our formula. Let's make it visible everywhere. And we save it. Now it's time to see what you have done. Open the detail page for the contact object you've just created and find your new account number formula field. Cool. Okay. Detail page for the contact object. Count number. Count name. Not there, but it was probably not inserted. So let's go to contact object to the details there. I'm not really sure where the formula is there. I don't see it.
Okay, so it's under fields and relationship account number. I've seen this a custom one because there's the underscore underscore C there, which indicates that's something that you personally created. So there, I didn't look at the right place. Example two, displaying the number of days until an opportunity closes on a report. You can also use formula fields in reports to increase the visibility of important information. Say for example, you want a report column that displays the number of days until an opportunity is closed. First, create an opportunity to test our formula. If you have never created an opportunity before, go to the opportunities tab and click new. Fill in any value for the name, select any stage and select a close day that's at least three days in the future. I think we have a bunch of opportunities here, but let's see. So again, this is in the sales view. Go to opportunities here. We have one opportunity name here. So now we create a custom formula field called days to close on the opportunities object. So object manager, opportunity, fields and relationship, click new, select the formula. Next, feel label text area. 